Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Shu. I'm from the University of the Adelaide. So I'm glad to uh, attend this conference and show you my research about the digital twins for plant growth resolution uh, in space agriculture. Uh, I have three studies uh, on plant for space and uh, uh, the plant for space is uh, develop, uh, developing uh, technologies to support human survival in space, uh, in space uh, where trans uh, transforming uh, sustainable uh, food and uh, bio resource production on Earth. And I also uh, started my uh, PhD in uh, Spain and uh, Adelaide. And the, the first uh, uh, study is about the true uh, crop combination that can be provided uh, for nutrition for astronauts. Uh, the second research, uh, study is about the digital twins. We uh, plant the letters under the extreme water. And the third uh, study is about the uh, Grows the letters under the different experiences in six climate zone. Now I will show you the first study. It's about the modeling of space crop based based uh, dishes. Uh, we uh, we have developed the uh, hierarchy of constraints as an uh, aid to space farming design, and uh, in order to uh, reform other uh, computational and light. And uh, in this, uh, in our this study, uh, the must meet requests are uh, solved by computer uh, modeling, like we use the mathematical uh, modeling. And uh, we also consider the, the security, uh, secular uh, productivity and the uh, palatability. And our paper have uh, published by uh, in ACS in this year. And we um, we have a similar uh, 10 scenarios uh, for the uh, for the astronaut uh, food combination. And we consider the different of uh, the different number of crops and uh, like different uh, nutrition include uh, including the calories, uh, micronutrient, uh, amino acids, mineral, vitamins, and so on. And uh, is, uh, more important, we consider the food intake. Like it's uh, the food intake is uh, one point two kilogram per day. And uh, due to uh, it's hard to find the the data. So. Uh, like some minerals and the vitamins, we we uh it's exclude, and uh, those are the results for the uh each scenarios, and the uh scenarios one to uh to scenario four is belong to the vegetarian food, and uh, five to ten is a the meat meat, and when we don't consider the uh, food intake, you can see the scenario one. The total food weight is about uh, uh, two kilograms. And uh, the best one is uh, the scenario four. They have uh, uh, different uh, different type of crops and uh, they have uh, the normal uh, food intake. And this uh, plot shows the uh, distribution of crop combination. And like the scenario one, uh, uh, three and four, you can see the sweet potato account the, uh, about uh, 50, uh, the half of the uh, food weight. And uh, during when we uh, consider the meat, we can see we have more uh, truth. I think no one can. Uh, no, no one want to uh eat a lot of uh sweet potato. So, uh, those scenarios can give you more choice. 
and this is planting area. Uh, although uh, although the uh, sweet uh, uh, sweet potato accounts the uh, half uh, food weight, but they only account the about uh, six six or six or eight percent planting area, and uh, the body and the poppy almost uh, account 80 percent so we don't have uh, evidence to say uh, if the crops have uh, if, if the crop waste is very high we will got the uh, it will need more uh, planting area and this is the shows the vegetable and the animal food sources species contribution. We can see for the uh, hydro, um, carbon hydrate and the uh, calories, minimal, uh, minimals and the vitamins, the vegetable can provide most of those uh, nutrition. It don't very um, needed the meat. But for the feet and the protein, they will need to uh, eat meat to intake the uh, feet and the protein. And we also uh, calculate the security assessment of each scenario. And uh, uh, for the uh, scenario one, they have a, uh, they have a lowest uh, score because uh, which is follow the large area requirement and the intake measurement. The uh, the measurement uh, the the uh, the scenarios three and four have an improved score, and the meat basis uh, scenarios score even high because of the lower crop, uh, lower crops share of the food, and uh, we also, uh, sorry, uh, we also, uh, uh, we also, uh, calculate the the material security, uh, inductor. So you can see all scenarios have. Uh, about uh, zero point six eight and uh, more, and uh, this is, uh, this is uh, it's best to close to one, but it is uh, but this is good achievement for our study, and uh, for the um the ratio of the base uh farm production and the uh food input, we can. See, uh, we have uh, we have like uh five kilogram input, but we uh just uh, got the two point five two point five output. So it's the input is the double than the output. So, but the all scenarios is have similar ratio so it is can be realized and i i just uh, say the scenario four is uh is good so we made it to made it the crops into the swiss cellar and uh, this is the picture from the food psychology study and uh, the australian uh, space discovery center also put the uh, crop seed into this card and uh, we can use this card to grow them. And uh, psychology sets uh, was conducted in uh, Washington at NASA headquarters. And the like uh, one volunteer side is very sweet and but another um, volunteer said uh, they don't like it first, but after they eat and then uh, another board later. So uh, I think uh, this space salary is good for uh, 
good for it. And I think um, the astronaut, astronauts don't mind to eat it every day. And uh, uh, our paper really uh, published by ACS and ACS have a press release uh, online and uh, followed by the this uh, news and uh, we got over uh, eight five uh, news uh, reported all over the world. And this is our uh, second study. It's about two physical twins uh, under the extreme weather. The one physical twin is uh, on the mountain and another physical twin is in the ghost chamber. We will uh, gross the lighter both in the, uh, both on the uh, mountain and in the ghost chamber. And then use the mountain sweater to set up uh, set, set the gross chamber. And uh, when we got the data, we will use the machine learning to predict the bell, uh, letter spell mass. And finally, use the Azure software to show the result. And uh, we choose the, uh, the, where to, the letter sweater is the uh, letter Maravilla, the very no. And uh, we have four groups of the samples. The first one is use the uh, normal soil and the water every week. And the second sample is use the normal soil and the non water. And the third is use the 50% uh, soil and 50% sand mixture and water every day. Uh, those soil and sand we uh, simulate the uh, regulates and the the fourth sample we use the normal soil and the fertilizer uh, once and uh, watered every day uh, watered uh, per, uh, every week and uh, in the ghost chamber uh, we will uh, monitor the temperature and the humidity use the weather station and use the um, soil moisture sensor to monitor monitor the soil uh, humidity. And every week I will uh, measure the lighter's weight, uh, the number the number of leaves and the lungs and so on. And uh, uh, during, um, in order to, uh, uh, in order to avoid to, uh, the animals can eat the lighter's. So we put the lighter's in the moist tree, in the uh, near the mountain, so we uh, they will uh compare the the three location uh temperature, so we are uh, good at in the uh adjust the temperature for ghost chamber. You can see uh during the day we have a similar trade. And uh, I was very lucky in 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 the night when I can't cannot uh, uh when I, uh I cannot set the temperature, but it have a similar temperature. And but we weakness is about the humidity, uh, because the ghost chamber cannot set the humidity very well, and uh, uh especially. Uh, when the humidity under the sixty percent, we 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 uh we can't do anything, and but uh for the uh soil moisture they have a similar trait. It's it's a uh, good at to recording the data, and for the uh machine learning model, we use the historic data. And uh, we consider the uh, the three uh, regions. Uh, the first is Spain and then uh, USA and the uh, tropical. And uh, like the Spain and the USA have uh, uh, like the same sunshine, similar um, humidity and the rainfall. But uh, 
uh, when we consider the water will uh, have influence on uh, on letters. So we in the uh, tropical regions, like they have a high humidity and the rainfall, they is similar. We can use the water to change the weather. And for the machine learning model, I, uh, we have a uh, ten models result for the product uh, prediction, and uh, you can see we got a uh, good R squares result for the trade model. Like it's near nearly uh, near near to one, and uh, uh, they have uh, some of the model. It's good for the prediction. It's uh it's suitable, but some uh but some of what like use the uh like use the, our experiment data is not suitable to uh to the model can predict. And uh, this is the one of the model results, I used the uh, linear regression and uh, like for the mountain, uh, the normal uh, the normal soil sam uh, sample and uh, the, the regular uh, sample is partly valid. But in the, it's very interesting is for the ghost chamber, uh, just uh, uh, use the normal Soil sensor, uh, no use, no use, uh, normal soil sample and the fertilizer is, uh, is particularly, uh, particular, uh, particularly, uh, valid. And, uh, we also consider the use the different uh, historical data to measure the model and uh, use the different uh, algorithm. And you can see when we use the Spain and the US, uh, the historical data, we will go to the higher uh, R-square, but uh, just uh, use the uh, tropical uh, historical data, we will, it's lower than the, the, the last uh, uh, model. But when we combine those um, of uh, those um, data, they will have a uh, improved, but not good at. Uh, uh, but it's not better than the uh, the first model. And this is the uh, the two agricultural uh, model data, and I use the uh, span. Uh, U.S. and uh, tropical region historic data, and uh, uh, for the first one, uh, this model is good at uh for uh predict uh, the growth chamber data, but it's not good for the mountain, and uh, the next like the both the decision tree regular uh regression is not good for the both. So, in the in conclusion, the best uh, 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 algorithm is the linear regression. And uh, this is the uh, uh, third study, and this is about the um, plant growth in all climate zones. Uh, our study inform informs plant growth under extreme environment from another uh, from another vantage point at the last study uh, which includes uh, the forecast uh, global warming uh, effect of the uh, uh, weather 2050 so we consider the six uh, cities to set the uh, every week weather and uh, this is the the uh, the temperature and the humidity is uh is have a similar 
issue. Like we are good at good at the set the temperature, but not good at the set the humidity. But you can see when the for six weeks the temperature is very similar trend for each day. And uh, this is our measured biomass every week. Uh, exclude the non-watered sample. Uh, other uh, three group sam uh, samples have a similar trend to lighter scopes. And for fertilizer one, the final biomass achieved uh, 36 gram and uh, is, is the best. And the the second one is use the normal soil and water. And this is the predict biomass value. And uh, you can see uh I think for the first uh, four week they have a similar trade same uh same as the measured value. And the final they, the predicted value is fifteen point one gram. And this is you can compare it. It's uh this model is good at to uh good good for the uh fifty percent oil and fifty percent sand mixture. Uh, this for uh it's good for this samples. But uh, when uh our model can't consider the non water to be because uh, I think no one will will uh grows the lighters and now water. And uh, this is the uh, temperature and the humidity and the uh, predict the biomass. You can see the biomass have and uh, the temperature have a similar trend. I think it's temperature uh temperature have a uh have a uh, good uh, influence on the lighter growth is more important than humidity. And in this study, we also um, make the machine learning model. And the, the original model is, uh, is same as the last study. And uh, in this model, we added the, the this experimental data into the model. You can see the um, square have a little improved. So we think uh, we use the own experiment data in and uh, combined with the historic data is good at full uh, prediction. Okay, that's all. Uh, our group is very uh, nice and uh, I work with the uh, Professor Walker Hazel and Mark and Long have a, uh, we both uh, work on the digital training study. So uh, we got those uh, results. Thank you. And any question? Thank you, Shu. We have one question in the chat. Um, did you already address that? What data set was used for model training? Uh, I uh, you mean for the uh second study? Um, Jordana asked the question. So, um, Jordana, can you clarify? Um, I use the uh historic data include uh include the temperature, humidity, and uh, uh planting area. Yeah, uh, we consider the, the those three uh constraints and uh, what was the training data set in the model to validate? Can you remind me what you showed were the most important weather parameters? That's the question from Jordana. Um like um uh for our model i think the most important uh is the temperature and uh, uh 
even though we uh, the community uh, community can be uh, like uh, for me uh, plus the letters the waters is more important even though the air humidity is very high but if you have um, enough water to go them I think it doesn't matter. Thank you, Shu. Do, does anybody have any more questions? Okay, there is something else here. Temperature stresses would require more or less water, so that makes sense. Great project and topic. Thank you, Jordana. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have any questions? Okay, there is a question in um, Hoover. What is your vision in shaping the development trend of future research and development, promoting the integration processes of space programs, expanding the ties of implementation of joint research? Uh, get... In the future, maybe uh, we will consider the more uh, factors like uh, water, I think is uh, water the lighter uh, the water the uh, the amount of the water is very important but um it's hard to find the data to make a model yeah so if we want to uh, make a a good model to predict the lighter biomass is will have a challenge. Thank you. Does anybody have any more questions? Okay, in this case, I would like to end the session. Thank you, Shu, and um, thank you everyone who has joined. We have more sessions. Um, let me see if there is another, no. Uh, we have more sessions in three different rooms, so please check the schedule on the website and you can join more throughout the day. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs>